Hello lovely people, welcome to your day nine of the 10 day Pilates challenge. You guys are so close. Just two more workouts to get through and then you are finished. So today I thought I would just give you a little bit of a fun workout, taking nothing too seriously. And we're just gonna be doing a Pilates flow workout. So no equipment is needed for this class. So when you're ready, find some space, grab your mat and let's begin. So let's begin at the back of your mat on your shins. If you find this extremely uncomfortable, then prop yourself up onto your knees. Otherwise, we're going to have those toes pointed on your shins. We're going to start with arms wide and a few cat curls. So you're going to inhale, round the back, scoop those arms forward. And then on your exhale, open up the chest, extend towards the ceiling. You're going to inhale, round and exhale, we open. Let's do two more, round and open. Last one, really pulling that belly button to spine and then open into extension. You're now gonna straighten the spine, interlock the hands in front of you. Then we're gonna twist those palms away from you, scoop the tummy in, reach the arms away. Imagine someone's pulling you backwards but your arms are reaching forwards. Take a deep breath in. And then on your exhale, you're going to extend those arms all the way up to the ceiling. Keep the rib cage connected. We breathe in. On your exhale, you go into a beautiful little side bend. So you're probably going to be rolling slightly onto your ankles. Bring it all the way back to center. And then reach it to the other side. Really pushing those interlocked palms away from your body. And then bring it all the way back to center and release it, relax it. We're now going to crawl forward and you guys are going to come onto the hands and the knees. We're going to be doing a few shell stretches to extensions. So what I mean by that, you're going to breathe in, exhale, you're going to round your spine and lean the bum towards the heels. Then you inhale again and you lean forward, come into extension. So I want really long breath. So it's an exhale to round, lean back, and an inhale to lean forward and arch. Two more. Last one. And then bring it back to a neutral span. You're going to tuck those toes and we're going to hover the knees off the floor. Now just lock the shoulders. We're going to go from a knee lift to tapping opposite hand to ankle in your downward dog. So you're going to exhale, reach, tap. Inhale, hover the knees off the floor. Exhale, reach, tap the other side. We're going to keep alternating. We've got another eight. Straighten the back as you come down. Look at the toes as you come up. Six. Five, four, three, two, one. Hold it in your knee lift for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. One, you're going to immediately push it back to a downward dog. Just hold and stretch. Pedal those legs. We're just going to flow in this workout, moving from one thing straight into the next thing. Then you're going to straighten both of your legs and walk your hands to your feet. Stay in that roll down. Take a deep breath in. You're going to scoop the tummy in and roll your spine all the way back up. Now we're going to be doing two different exercises, one, then two, and then we're repeating it all again. So standing at the back of your mat, you're going to have your feet hip width distance apart. And I actually want you to turn your palms forward for me today. So whenever you come up from a squat, we're going to be pressing the hands back, but then you're going to inhale into a squat, exhale, press it back. 
Okay, so do it with me. You got to inhale, squat down, exhale, push those arms back. Inhale, exhale. You're going to squeeze the bum, squeeze the thighs as you come up. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now you come down to a squat. On your way up, you're going to take one leg, reach it behind you, and then we're going to squat again, reach the other leg behind you. So now you're activating the back line of your body. Keep alternating the legs. Four, five, you're still neutral. You're not going into full extension. Six, seven, Eight, nine, one last one, ten. Now come into your squat, hold it, and we're going to pulse up and down for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, hold for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, soften your shoulders, pull your tummy to one and lift. We breathe in. Second exercise, you roll your spine down. Keep it flowing, guys. You're going to then walk it straight into your plank. Lock the shoulders. Bring your feet a little bit closer together. We're going to breathe in. Exhale, glide the left leg up. Inhale, lower down. Exhale, glide the right leg up. Inhale, lower down. Keep that neutral. Keep that chin lifted. Four, long exhales, lock your shoulders, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hold your plank for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Walk it all the way back to your feet. Scoop the tummy in. Roll your spine up. We go for round two. So exactly the same thing. Palms facing forward. We inhale, come into a squat. Exhale, push those palms back. One. Ten without the legs. Two. Three. Four. Open up that chest. Five. Six. Seven. Feet are parallel. Toes are forward. Don't let your knees roll in. Nine. Ten. Let's add in alternating legs. We lift, kick, one. We squat, lift, kick, two. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Last one. We now hold the squat and we pulse for ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Hold it now for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Lift it up. Take a deep breath in. We dip the chin. Roll down. We're going to plank again. This time we're going to be doing a froggy. So you're going to keep those feet hip width apart. You're now going to inhale Bend your knees, but don't let them touch the floor. Lean the chest to the knees, and then exhale, dive forward. We lean back. Exhale. If your breathing is different, it doesn't matter. Just keep breathing. Four. Five. Try not to drop your hips when you come forward. Six. Seven. 
eight, nine, ten. Lean forward, hold your plank for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Open knees, shall stretch, breathe. Take one more deep breath in. Scoop the tummy in, roll your spine back up. You're going to spin around now and let's change positions to laying flat on the back, getting nice and comfortable for one little ab sequence. So from here, I want you to imprint, lift both legs to tabletop, knees together. You're going to take left hand to the ceiling, right hand behind the head. Now lift the chest up and keep it up the whole time. Your elbow is wide, support your neck. Left arm, right leg, you're going to inhale, reach. Exhale, bring it in. One. Same side again. Two. Eight more times. Three. Four. Five, chin away from the chest. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine, one more. Ten, bring it to the center. Left hand behind the head, right arm up. Now it's right arm, left leg. You inhale, you exhale, one. Flatten your back, lift that chest, look over the groin. Four, open that left elbow. Five. Seven, eight, nine, one more. You keep it lifted, take both hands behind the head, pulse the chest for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, hold, and let everything go. Relax, let the ribs pop, you're going to need it. We're repeating the same exercise with legs straight to the ceiling. If you struggle, then just go back to what we've just done. So you're going to imprint. You're going to lift legs up and then extend the legs, flex the feet. You're going to lift the chest up, but it's going to be the left hand to the ceiling first, right hand behind the head. Now you inhale, lower that left arm, right leg. Exhale, lift one. We lower. We lift two. That left leg is staying dead still. Four, it's fun. Just breathe. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more. Bring it to center, left hand behind the head, right hand. To the ceiling. We inhale, drop right arm, left leg, exhale, lift one. Flatten tummy, look over the groin. Three, reach four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more. Hold it up, both hands behind the head. We pulse that chest. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Hold and let it go. Release. Woo, let the ribs pop. Give it a breather. We're going to reach those arms up towards the ceiling this time. Let's take the right leg straight in front of you and that left leg straight towards the ceiling. You can point or flex whatever feels good. We're now going to circle that left leg. Try and keep control of your hips. Two. Last one. Change direction of your circle. Keep flowing. Last one, hold it up. 
You are now going to gently lower that leg just to hover off the floor. We inhale, exhale. You're going to roll your spine up, lift that left leg, come into a half teaser, and then slowly roll down, hovering that left leg. We inhale, exhale, roll it up, control, reach, and then slowly lower down. Breathe in. Exhale, roll it up and down. Let's see if we can do two more. So we're going to do five each side. So you're going to roll it up, try not to fling it up, and then slowly lower down. Last one, roll it up and hold it up. Now keep it your pulse that left leg up for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, hold, and lower everything down. Stretch. <sighs> then arms come to the ceiling, engage your core, right leg comes all the way up. You're going to circle that right leg now. Deep breath. You want to try to keep your hips from rocking. Two more. Stabilize usual core. And then change direction of the circle. Two. One. Keep that leg up. You're now going to gently lower until it's hovering. You take a deep breath in. Exhale, roll it all the way up. Control, lock the knee, breathe in, and then roll down. Four more. Inhale, exhale. You roll it up, you lift the leg, and when you go down, you just take it to a hover. Lift it up. And down. Two more. Lift it up. And down. Try and keep the posture. Last one. Roll up and hold. Now pulse that leg up for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, hold. And lower everything down, stretch it out, breathe in. You're going to swing those arms, grab the back of the legs, swing it all the way up to seated. Now we're going to take those hands just behind your bum, bring the feet slightly closer. You either have your fingers forward or to the side, not to the back. So you're going to open up the chest. We're going to lift the hips. You lift one leg, extend it, bend it, and then drop it down, drop the bum down. Repeat on the other side. So you go hips up, leg up, reach, bend, foot down, bum down. Lift up, lift up, extend, bend, down, down. Again, this is four. You reach, bend, down, down. This is five. Gets a little bit confusing, so just be kind to yourself. Six, lift, reach, bend, lower, lower. Seven, lift, reach, bend, lower, lower. Eight, shoulders are going to start feeling it. Bum feels it. Nine. Last one. And ten. You're going to lift your hips up. Keep it up. It doesn't have to be so high. And then we're going to bend the elbows and extend. One. Going into your tricep dip. Two. So the bum doesn't have to be as high for this one. It's more about the arms. Four, five, six, seven. Try avoid just lowering and lifting the bum. You've got to actually bend those elbows as well. Nine and ten. You're going to now lift up, go halfway down with the elbows and pulse. Four, ten, nine, eight, seven, six. Five, four, three, two, hold, and let it go. Release. Grab those legs, slowly roll to your back. Giving your arms a little breather, take your hands next to your hips. You're going to take the right ankle onto the left knee. We're going to keep a neutral spine, push the hips straight up. You extend. 
extend the leg forward, you bend it back in and you drop the hips down. Repeat it, same side. Two. Breathing, controlling, and flowing. Four. Five. Six. Really getting into that left glute. Seven. Eight. Nine. One more. Ten. You're now going to lift it up. Take that right leg to tabletop. Pulse your bum up for ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. Hold. Ankle goes on the knee. You rest it down. Now you're just going to quickly swap. So left ankle goes on to the right knee. And you pull that right leg in to stretch your bum that you've just worked. Then you release that leg, keeping the left ankle on the right knee. We repeat on the other side. So you're going to push it up. You're going to extend, bend, lower down. Get the ribs in. Up, reach, in, down. Three, reach, in, down. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Press it in, down. Nine. Don't let that bum go lower and lower. And ten. Now lift it up. Take that left leg to tabletop. Pulse your bum. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. Hold. Ankle on knee. Drop the bum. You're going to swap the legs. So right ankle onto the left knee. And now let's stretch that right glute. Grab your left leg. Let it out. Beautiful flow, everybody. Let go. Grab both knees in, but open them towards the armpits. Give it a squeeze, releasing lower back. And just look left. And look right. One more time on each side, relaxing the neck. And bring it back to center. Release. Grab the backs of the thighs. Swing it up to seated. Well done, team. That was day nine of your 10-day Pilates challenge. And tomorrow is your day 10. Well done on getting this far. I hope you've been enjoying it as much as I have. Get a good rest tonight. And I shall see you tomorrow for the final day. Bye.